another quick video. We dropped our temp yesterday from 59 degrees or from 70 degrees down to 59. So I just want to show you guys the charts on that. But I will tell you so far so good. There is a few things that I'll explain uh, here in the video. So uh, let's take a look. Let's start off by looking at our tilt. We're sitting at 60 degrees. Don't mind my SG here. This is kind of an experimental batch. It turned into an experimental batch, but anyway, don't worry about that. 58.4 is what the actual brew bill uh, temperature is set at. Um, maybe the reason why we got two degree difference is that the thermal well sits into more of the bottom portion of the uh, fermenter where uh, our tilts can be sitting up here because we got about 10 and a half gallons of wort in here. So maybe that has to do with uh, the two degree difference. Not really sure. Someone else might know a little bit better, but uh, that's what I'm going to chalk it up to, you dig? So now here you can see the tilt charts. We uh, dropped the temp from 70, and I'm guessing it's around 10, 10 a.m.-ish. Uh, took probably about eight or nine hours to drop all the way down to 60 degrees according to the temp or tilt chart. It went back up to about 61 degrees flatlined. Then it dropped back down here. I actually was looking at this chart and I was wondering what was going on. So I actually dropped the temp down to 58 degrees as you can see on the uh, brew belt controller thinking that something was off. And then I found out there's a two degrees difference so uh, it's actually sitting at 58 degrees. So if you think about it, two degree difference and it's flat lining at 61 degrees and we had it at 59, I mean, this thing's killing it. So I guess for now, this thing's doing a pretty good job, but I think the real test is gonna be when we drop it down to 39 degrees. So uh, we'll get a video of that here in probably about four days or so. I got some dry hopping to do, but until then, uh, cheers.